this short screencast is going to go a little bit more into editing with iMovie. So hopefully you'd have already imported your footage into iMovie and you can see that I've started a new project. So I've got a blank project, a blank timeline down here. My source video has been imported into the source window and I can preview my source footage by either scrolling through with the mouse and you can see it playing in the right hand corner or I can hover where I want to start and press the space bar and that footage will now start playing back. So essentially what I'm trying to do is build up my finished video in this project area at the bottom and to do that I select bits of my source clip and drag them down to the timeline. So for instance I could select this whole clip here so just clicking and dragging to select and drag it down to my timeline. You can also just select a little bit of a clip so here I'm going to click and drag about 15, 16 seconds worth and again I'm going to drag this down into my timeline. You'll notice that the clip's gone orange and that shows you that I'm using this particular clip in my finished video. That may be quite obvious but when you've got lots of um, clips which look quite similar like this one here for instance you're sometimes unsure which bit you've actually used in your finished video but iMovie just makes it go orange, just so you've got a, an idea of the clips that you've used. And there's nothing stopping me dragging that same clip down again to the timeline if I wanted to. Now I don't have to drag clips to the end of my movie. I can drag it in between a clip or I can put it at the start of my finished video. Whenever it goes green, that shows you where you can drop the clip in. So you can see there's a green bar has appeared, has appeared behind my clip and I can just release a mouse and that's now been added into my sequence. So to play back what you've done, you can again, you can scroll through with the mouse just to give you an idea or you can hit the space bar and that then now plays back in real time. You can see here, press space bar, you can see that's just a straight cut between those two shots. Now you might find that you've accidentally pulled too much of a clip in to your video. Now rather than just deleting it and re-adding the right amount from here, you can actually edit the clip when it's in the timeline. Now I think one of the best ways of doing that is by using the clip trimmer feature. Now you can see when you hover over a clip in the timeline, this blue cog appears next to it and what you can do is click the drop down arrow and choose the clip trimmer mode. This then brings up the original clip with and the yellow bit acts as the bit you've chosen in the timeline. If I just use this uh, slider to scroll out a bit you can see the whole clip. So you can see I've actually t used the whole of the source clip in my finished video but in actual fact, I don't want to take half of it. So what I can do is change this slider and that then edits the clip in the timeline. Remember, the original clip is always being left untouched, so you can always return to it if you want to. And so now it's just this yellow bit is being used in my finished video. Alternatively, you can select a clip or a part of a clip and press the delete key to delete it. So I've just made that three seconds shorter. If I edit and undo, that three seconds comes back to me. I can also uh, right click to give me some more options. So there's this trim to selection. So what, what that would do, would that would delete everything in this clip, not the timeline, everything in this clip, apart from the last three seconds that I've highlighted. There is, of course, delete selection. And that, that acts the same as a delete key. That would delete the three seconds that I have selected. So if I click trim to selection, you can see that this clip is now three seconds long. Everything outside of that yellow selection marker has been deleted.